It's your boy James with the Stop Being Dirty. Stop. Listen, sometimes what you want the most is not meant for you. Sometimes what you, you gave years to something that turns out not the way you thought. It could be a marriage situation. It could be a friendship. It could be a job. It could be a hobby you try to make. A, there's a lot of things that, and it's discouraging because you put so much time into it. You put so much effort into this relationship, this friendship, this job. But you have to go through those curiosities and those experiments to understand in the long run what's not meant for you. There's things in this world that is just not meant for you. And in, until you actually go through it and put this effort, it's not a waste of time. Because if you didn't do these things, get in these relationships, try to go for these jobs or these different opportunities that didn't work out for you, it would still be a mystery. You would still wonder if that person was for you. If that direction that you didn't go in was for you or not. It would be a mystery. It almost would, it could drive you crazy. You, the what if. So when you go through these situations that don't turn out the way you planned, at least you did it. And now you have to answer math. Oh. oh my God. So salute to math, um, everything that he's doing, you know what I'm saying? It's so funny that, that like math has done so much in bad rap that you you almost could him and T-Rex being the first main event. On like the URL, not Smack DVD, but the whole URL thing. And like, you know, him being like a staple that way. It's like if a T-Rex were to go a math hopper route, you'd be happy for it as well because they already so stamped. You know what I'm saying? Like um, math has done so much in this game and battle rap that it's like it's dope to see him have a lane in retirement. Right. We could pretty much say he's retired. He hasn't battled in a long time. I don't think his interest is in battling. I'm not really sure, though. Um, I know he wanted to battle a bunch of people that didn't want to battle him for a while and things like that. But it is what it is. Sometimes what you think. What was I saying to start this video? And it wasn't even to correlate with math, but it does anyway. Like sometimes what you think is meant for you is not meant for you but you have but it could be like a, a higher calling you know what i mean like there was a time where a lot of people thought that like blogging was a better lane for me now of course my true passion is 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 lyricism and trying to you know put rhymes together and battle and things like that but a lot of times you know i could be like yo i did gain a, a whole big a big fan base as well of, of a support system by by blogging so you know not, a lot of times with, with with your calling you have to go through certain things to find your true calling and I feel like this is a great thing for math you know what I'm saying again you know I got to battle math go check that out you know what I mean I was actually math's first battle back on king of the dot after that whole situation with disaster I put the chicken nuggets out that went viral and all that you know what I mean so it was dope um to 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 have the opportunity to have battle math you know one thing about me what I always thought was fire about my career, if you look at my resume, I battled a lot of people that I was fans of. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I came in the game watching Rosenbergs and watching um, Math Hoffas and Shotgun Shugs, and to battle them was big for me. You know what I'm saying? So, that was pretty dope. Um, as far as um, what's going on with Math now, he has the attention. Like, his platform officially has a huge reach like what he says matters what, what what happens on that channel matters and it's and it's a big deal to get a lot of things out who speak on those interviews it's going viral clip by clip and a recent one but if you see what happened with um um what you call it salute to piper boy too i seen him um talk about this as well i i seen this on my gram Right after I did a blog yesterday, but once those muscle relaxers kick in, I can't really function too well on doing blogs or whatever. I'm just, you know, I'm still injured. Got to just sleep it through. But um, what you call it? I seen Pipe Boy talk about it, you know what I mean? So he has a blog out as well on it, you know, salute to him and what he's doing over there, you know what I mean? Support your supporters, you know what I mean? And support people who's also doing what you do. People have like common interests. And, you know, I, me personally, when I say I want to see everybody win, I really mean that shit. You know what I mean? So to see people prosper in their channels and do well, even if these are people that don't want the best for me, I still walk around wanting the best for others because it just makes me end up being the best me. 
keeping it humble. You know what I'm saying? But anywho, so Mav Hoffa, so so if you see like a few weeks ago, Funk Flex was going at it with um Conway, and basically it was like a lot of like why Funk Flex don't play his music and how he needs to get up out of here and like you know like well you you got to get these old dudes out of here and whatever whatever and, and Funk Flex kind of bombed on him like he dropped thirty on him quick in that in the Instagram to be honest with you. He's like yo, why are you so worried about me if I'm so old? You you know and I hate when people do that too. It's like why are you going down him but you complaining that he's not playing your music? But yet you only mad because he's not playing your music. But you really want him to play your music. If he did play your music, he'd be happy to play his music. But you're downplaying him because he's not playing your music. But overall, you're mad that he's not. So how are you going to downplay him? But you're mad. It just makes no sense. But, um... So he was like, he smoked him. He's like, yo, look at all these cosigns and people you done had in your albums and just like that. You know, if you ain't pop off yet, you're not gonna pop off kind of thing. Smoked them with some truth. Sometimes people need a reality check. Stay in your lane. I mean, it is what it is. People like, there's, there's so many artists that like, they're fire, but they're just not mainstream fire. It is what it is. It really is what it is. There'll be battle rappers in my career that there'll be people who like I've come up with that like no name dropping, but I've seen it a plenty of times. I've seen the hate. I've heard about the, their hate behind the scenes. It's like they almost wanted my position because of the way I, I, I climbed the ranks at Bloody Knuckles, at Trap House, at RBE. You know what I'm saying? How, how I was able to battle on URL and King of the Dots and oh, going all over like... But it was, it's like some people have an it factor. You could write better than me. You could do a lot of things better than me. But there's there's, there's something that I, at the time of the, the peak of my career, I brought something that was attractive to every stage. That's why I was able to battle in Australia, London, all, all different places. Like, you don't have to like me, but you have, if you don't like what I'm saying, then you don't like truth. You don't have to like me, but, it, but appreciate facts. So I feel like that's what, you know, Funk Fest is kicking some facts. So basically recently, Math Hoffa has someone on his show who ends up talking about that and opens up that lane again. And Math was talking about a record that he has with Method Man and how that record is not getting played by Funk Flex, even though Method Man had said he has a good rapport with Funk Flex and Funk Flex can be spinning a lot. I think he might've spinned it once or twice, but overall not like the push that he believed it would have. So Funk Flex goes on his rant again, a little more humble though, more like he's pulling Math's car. This is what he's doing. He does not believe Math Hoffa has five songs in the stash to send him. I'll listen to five songs and if one of these songs catch my ear, I will play your music. See, the thing is that this is a great challenge. And Mav said challenge accepted. It's a great challenge because Funk Flex doesn't believe in Math Hoffa. He believes he's going to send him music and he'll probably, he can almost like turn it on him. He don't feel like he has any mainstream, st mainstream type music that people want to hear. Funk Flex has the ear for it. I believe he does. God's been doing this for like 76 years. He's been playing, he was playing dinosaur records. Like, you know how we know T-Rex in, in, in Battle Rap? He literally played a record from a T-Rex, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, like from like, like featuring Adam and Eve. So like, he's been around forever. So with that being said, you know, he has an ear for it. And I feel like he's also, he, he don't believe that math, have, math has something in the stash that's worth being played, being promoted. Now, do I believe math has five tracks that can catch a mainstream ear? I would say no, only because I don't know all of his music. So I would be lying if I said yes, I'd just be capping. I also am not sure if he has five spinnable tracks because the music that I did hear from him doesn't seem very mainstream-like. But he has a good flow. He has bars. He has good rhythm. He's doing music for a long time. Math is like 57 years old himself, so he's been doing this for a very long time. He has dope music that I have heard, but recent music I have not heard, so I'm not going to speak on it cap as if I know, but I fit this. Do I feel like Math Hoffa out of five tracks he could send Funk Flex would have one that has playable value on the radio? I do. And to be honest with you, I hope that he does get his spun. I hope he does shut, shut Funk Flex up. And I hope that some part of this is to, he could use Math to be like, yo, Math has better music than Conway I could play. And, and, and he could use Math as ammo to get at his previous argument that started this whole subject matter of who should be played, who should not be played. So I think that's dope. Math Hoffa versus Funk Flex Challenge. Math Hoffa accepts. Math, send them what you send them. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you got something in the stash that's worth being played. I'm sure you do. Suit to everything that you're doing. Would y'all want to see Math battle again? 
If you did, who would you want to see him against? I'm still not mad at a math versus surf. Only because I feel like things like that is like, get it out the way. What else is there for math to do? You have to understand, there's certain artists in battle rap that have just done so much, battled so long, battled so many people. There's not much more competition for them. Yeah, throw them against a new guy here and there. I'm talking about... Old rival rivals and things like that. I don't want to see Math versus Lux. I, I I can still go for a Math versus Mook, but I think I'd rather see a Mook versus Surf before that. But I, I wouldn't be mad at a Math versus Surf to like to be like, yo, this is my last battle. You know, we never really retire from battle rap, but at least like it could be like we could see it and think it. You know, it could be promoted that way. So um, do we want to see Matt battle again? Do um, do you guys uh, follow my expert opinion? You know what I'm saying? I'm happy for Matt. I'm happy for anyone who does what I have once did and made something so successful from it. Look what he's done. You know what I'm saying? Like even myself, you know, a lot of times in life you have opportunities right in front of you and it's just about you taking time to to take advantage and make these opportunities work for you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why I'm gonna have more stop being dirty merch. That's why I'm gonna do other things on the channel because I have the outlet in order to do it. It's just as matters how much effort you put into what you do with your life. You're in control of it. Most of all, you, without making a change, nothing will change. So change is a necessity in growth. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, that dirty notification bell. Remember one thing. Stop being dirty. By the way, today's my second day doing intermittent fasting. It's a little tough, but it's keeping my diet in line. Gonna lean out a little bit, consider I'm not able to work out for another few weeks. So I just gotta stay on top of the diet. So you know what I'm saying? You don't want a two negatives, it, one hurts, but who knows, this could be the best of me. Maybe it's meant for me to lean out a little bit, then I could bulk up again, whatever the case may be. But I'm trying, I'm doing my best, and it could be way worse, so I'm blessed for that much. Stop being dirty. Thank you for taking the time.